I came in the world crying and fussing Nigga, we ain't have nothing Every ghetto, I know the same We trying to make a little change Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hey, I had a barber ask me a question Man, how long did it take you to get your skill set to where it is now? So, he left that in the comments on one of my videos So, I answered him, but I decided to make a video out of it Because... I think it takes a little bit more further explanation than what I gave him. Uh, just a backstory on it so you can get an understanding of where I'm coming from. Now, I saw a post today on Instagram from a guy named Marvy. Mar it's Marv or something to do this on there. He always say barbers. That guy, he from New York or something. He from up north somewhere. But he made a post today. I think today is the 16th. He made a post today that said, hey, don't let Instagram fool you. We out here making mistakes, too. I ain't really know how to take the post at first. But, from you know, I just saw it. I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. You know, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, he, you know, it's not that people are out here trying to fool people on Instagram. It's people taking it the wrong way, fooling themselves. Because uh, I'm not trying to fool you. But because I tell you everything, how it go. You know what I mean? So I'm not you know, out here trying to act like I've been on. You know what I mean? So y'all already know I've been a borrower for a long time. Before social media, I already gave y'all the backstory on that. Now, I had this barbershop that I got for four years. I had my own shop for four years. When I left the barbershop I was at for eight years before I opened mine, I was stuck in a in a place where it was a lot of older barbers. So as an older barber, you want to stick to what you know. You don't really like expand yourself. It's working. Now, I've never been a bad barber, uh, you know, since a long time ago. But I've always been an okay, decent barber, you know, before I got the shop. Now, um, when I left the, the barber shop and opened my own, I had to do some things different. First of all, when I left the shop I was at, I didn't tell any of the barbers that I was leaving, right? So... I had to, I went out and I built my own, right? I built my own thing. So I started going, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start going to some of these barber, you know, classes, seminars, wherever barbers at, I wanted to be at because I wanted to meet barbers and try to recruit some barbers. And this also though, I felt like, hey, let me see what other barbers are doing. And I wasn't using enhancements and fibers and stuff like that. Before that, after after me going to a couple classes, meeting other barbers, seeing different techniques, things like this, I started to put my, my haircuts on a whole nother level. You know what I mean? I started to put them on a whole nother level. So when I put it on, when I did that, I put it on another level. So after I did that, I started getting the results from it. So by me saying this, this is what I'm basically saying about this. I invested in my craft, right? I invested in my craft because I wanted to be better. When I stepped out on my own, I knew I had to make myself better because it wasn't just me relying on me at this point. Now I got to worry about, you know, filling the shop up with clients, you know, for other barbers, not just for me. You know, it's not my sole duty to give you clients. Don't get me wrong, but I wanted to provide a place where people would come, you know, and I felt like I needed to get my skills up, learn as much as I could possibly and pass that down to some of the barbers if I was getting new barbers that was fresh out of barber school uh, things like that if I was getting new barbers fresh out of barber school then I could pass the information along to them also
yeah, if I was getting, if I was getting new barbers fresh out of barber school, I could pass that along to them also. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, so, uh, I wanted to get better so I could teach barbers that came into my shop some of the techniques, some of the new things to make it make themselves pop. So what basically what I'm saying, you have to invest in it. I took it seriously. I'm not saying that I didn't really take barbers seriously. I always took it like it was a job. I always showed up, was on time, and you know, wanted to give good haircuts. But I took it to a whole nother level once I stepped out and did things for myself. So I'm telling you, once once you start to take it serious, it could take you probably a year to get to my level to, to a certain degree. You know what I mean? To be better than you are. If you take it, you know, you watch videos constantly, you try these techniques out on new people, um, you go to barber seminars and things like that. Do everything you can do to make yourself better. Ask questions. Watch other barbers when they working. You know, it took me a while. I don't want you to think that I didn't. I, I just did this. I ain't saying I did it overnight. I really put in the work for that, man. So another thing is you got to watch who you are around. You want to be around people that want to be better also. I'm not saying the people that I wasn't, that I was around wasn't, didn't want to be better, but comfortability will make you, will put you in a standstill because you're comfortable. I mean, if you got clients coming in every day, all day, then you cool. It's like, I don't need to change nothing. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? For me, I just felt like I needed to take myself to another level. So, Again, if you if you're not at another level, and the people around you are comfortable doing what they're doing, and that's okay, nothing is wrong with that. But you feel like it, then maybe you need to take yourself away from that situation and go around people that do want to do that. You know what I mean? That that does want to do that. So you, you know you gotta keep that in mind also. You know what I mean? So. I said all that to say, if you really focus on your craft and put the time in, it could take you about a year. I, I would say about a, about a good year. So that's what I wanted to tell y'all. That's some of my barber tips. I like when I get a good question, I make a video of it. All questions are good questions, but let me say when I get a great question that I feel like this is really needed in the barber community, also in uh, entrepreneurship or in life period, it doesn't matter. Once you take whatever you have a talent for seriously, you're gonna prosper. But you have to put in the work, the time, the effort, the late nights. People don't know, man, I stay up late night, you know, reviewing this, reviewing that, looking at a video I, I recorded from a class or something, you know, just anything, you know what I'm saying? I, I've always had the drive to be my own person, boss, entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it. I've always had that drive, so I didn't have to build that up. But skill level sometimes has to be built or the perfection that you want has to be built you know what i mean so that's all i wanted to say if you got other questions other topics that you want me to go over leave it down in the comments below you know like i say like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend you know what i mean make sure you spread the word share it share the video if you can some type of way send it to somebody who needs some motivation inspiration somebody that might be stuck not understanding what all it takes you know things like that make sure you share it but until next time love peace and hair grease i'm out yeah and then what you be doing huh travis when you take your pictures this what you do trap oh chocolate drop y'all look at her hold up what you say Yes, 
sir. I'm about to take niggas' girlfriends today. Yes, sir.